Hello, hello, and good evening to everyone that is joining. This is, uh, I am your host, RamblePack64. My name is Chris, and joining me is blogger Seamus Young again. Introduce yourself, Seamus. Where are you? Hi there. There we go. Oh, brief, brief volume increase. All right, so we will be continuing from last week. If you recall, last week we just... Uh, and hello 93 um, thank you for joining us I do recognize you from Seamus' comment section so you are uh, joining for the first time thanks for uh, checking us out while we're live hi there 93 we're going to continue night from we just beat Deathstroke uh, Penguin locked himself up in a room in his burning tanker and um, there's there he is there's Mr. Anarchist right there uh, where, where can we hook up and get a good view of this guy uh, evidently not up here. Oh, there we go. We can at least run up, the, run up there. This. Oh, I forgot all about this. Oh, then you see the guy projecting himself onto the screen. Yeah. Anarchy. And wait, who is he? Terminal. He's like again, like we we briefly talked about him last time. He's this weird Ubisoft esque villain that's all talking about. Um, uh, whatever. I'll get. Yeah, I'll get it. Anarchist bomber guy. It was. Bit, oh, the hold on. Seamus is a little too loud. Oh, now I'm using mouse control. Uh, Got to remember to move. All right, and may, uh, made up and for me is back. Hello, hello. All right, let me see about turning Seamus down a notch. No, alt tab. It's not alt tabbing. Oh, that's because I'm hitting the wrong button. So you know that anarchy guy g gives off an Arkham Knight vibe. Really? I don't know. Just a young guy that like rambles on and he's got some dumb agenda and he's an edge lord. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm also trying to fix the vibe. No, I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. As I said, like for me, I always get the, 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 the vibe of, a random like Ubisoft open world. Like I think you said um last time you discussed uh the um oh, what was the game? Uh Watchdogs. Right. Yeah, Anarchy does sound like a watchdogs like villain. The kind of thing you'd come up with if you had ten minutes. Yeah. And you weren't real worried about the result. Or you were like twenty years old and you wanted a character to represent <laughs> right. your you know, political views, which are all right. just blow up the banks, let anarchy right. rule. <laughs> right. But anarchy, but with like, but misspelled in an edgy yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. You're right. I think even his boots are more armored. Like when you have that downward, uh, which we'll go, oh, I got, I got a challenge complete. Oh, we gotta go oh. across the bridge. Uh, oh, wait, that's gonna be too low. Oh, the bridge. And also, this bothered me, but I totally understand why they did it. In the previous game, Arkham City, this, the grapnel boost, is like this special, experimental thing that you have to work to unlock by doing VR crap. And now like, it's just oh. here. And now it's and now here 12 years it. earlier. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why does it always turn you to the side? Cause like I don't I don't want to fly to the side, I wanna go straight ahead. Like, I don't know why it does that. Like especially because here, going to the side, just all that does Oh, and now it's just straight on through. Maybe it's because I'm holding back. It doesn't understand that I'm holding back so I can uh Was that a switch? Oh no, that's just I also got to remember what was the what was the LB? That's what was Detective Vision. All right, carve that diamond S into your desk. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, how old? How far back does that go? The diamond um, S. I'm trying to think. I don't. I never called it a diamond S, but I never drew it myself. It's like that sort of S shape. Like, does it go by any other name? That like you'd see kids always drawing into their the cool oh, ass. Right. Yeah. Yes. They're always drawing I in know. notebooks and stuff. Like you'll see yeah. it in Life is Strange or something. Someone will have it drawn there because it's like this is a thing that teenagers do. 
Right. Like all I know uh, is the, the equivalent at my age when I or you know when I was that age was people doing the using a ruler to make the Metallica logo cuz you know you could do that perspective thing with it. Really it 3D, interesting. Yeah. Like even if they didn't like Metallica it was just like people liked making that logo. Oh, that's interesting. Cuz I know by time I was in high school. Oh, do I got to knock out the uh, police? Right, like oh, I know, spotted me. I know. I was. I was never into Metallica, really. I mean, I didn't dislike it. It just wasn't my thing. But I. I know I drew it a few times. Oh, that's funny because by the time I was in high school, a lot of kids actually made fun of you because they're like old. And that's the thing. I'm. They weren't really that old. By time, like, what was it? Like, Saint Anger was just coming out when I was in high school. But it was still, like, Metallica was not, like, one of the cool bands anymore. Like That's they... just hard to imagine. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like um, like the 21 Jump Street remake, when they, they go back to school and they discover all the stuff they thought was cool is now super dorky. Yeah. <laughs> It's like how I can't even imagine what a high school would be like if they don't think that Metallica is cool. It, I mean, what is it like? Uh, System of a Down was cool. Symphony, not Symphony X. Symphony X was definitely not cool. Nobody knew who Symphony X was. Um, Dream Theater wasn't cool. Um, but who, who? Static X. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, Slipknot, like those are the cool metal bands if you listen to metal. And I did not listen to that stuff. And of course, Linkin Park. Um, All so. of my, my, my brother, and thus most oh, of the people right. I knew, because he made all the friends. My brother <laughs> had the 80s hair. My brother had just this huge mane of 80s hair, and all his friends were into metal. So oh, that I was funny. exposed to all that stuff. Now, this is your though. brother that had the uh, football blog? Yes, Does and he's he still younger than me. Does he still do that, or did he give that up? Uh, I think he quit. Uh, that's a shame, because I actually... Because I enjoyed reading it, even though at the time... I, I knew football. it was so good. I really enjoyed it. I wish he'd stuck with it, but he changed... You know, just life interferes. Most people have trouble yeah. keeping up. Keeping, keeping the content mill fed. Yeah, especially... I mean, that's the thing. I love blogging about video games, and I barely blog these days. So. Right. Nonsense Situation Room. That was his thing. Yes. That actually makes sense, too, because I... Like, now I actually do... Like, I started watching football, and I like football. It's like, oh, wow, I actually enjoy this sport. But at the same time... Do I have to go inside this building? Did I miss something obvious? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This, okay. this is the Arkham Origins experience where it, where you have to grope around. It's like, I never had this problem with Arkham City. You always knew exactly where Batman wanted you to go. And it wasn't because there was a giant glowing map marker. It just naturally led you through the level like that. And this game, you're always like, wait, what? Where am I going? Well, I will be honest in that I'm also, we're discussing uh, Metallica and Diamond sure. S's and stuff, so I'm also not fully paying attention to the... Uh... But this is, yeah, but like what you're doing now is exactly the experience I remember. Now I'm trying to look at, I'm trying to figure out the proportions if that hamburger box is proportionally correct, because it is as big as Batman's head. That drink, but... that drink is a big, big, big gulp. But that's the problem, is I've been to fast food places. I can't tell if that's ridiculous or not. <laughs> right? We're talking about American food here. Like, come that's on. That's true. <laughs> uh, Seamus is still a little bit loud. Um, hold on. Um, yeah, let me pause real quick and see if I can fix that then. Uh, let me see if I can, I, I can drop you a little bit on the Discord end, maybe. Because I'm trying sure. to keep everything a little balanced. Um. All right, go ahead and talk a little bit, and let's see what we... Hi, everybody. Welcome to the DieCast. I'm Seamus, and I'm on the wrong show. <laughs> I think he's blowing out his microphone on his end. Um, that's possible. I think... Okay, I think what you're talking about is... um, 
Am I too? Am I over boosted? I th- yeah, is your gain is your gain too high rather than ne- necessarily the volume? That might be a possibility. I just turned it way down. Did that help at all? All right. I'll see if I could counterbalance. Um, do a little bit more talking. Think talking again. All right. Um, I'm not impressed with this pause menu. This is not exciting <laughs> at all. You call this a pause menu? I got all the trouble to start. Hey, how am I doing? Seems now less crackly and less loud. Okay, I tried. All right, all right. That's sh- all right. Uh, keep me, keep me informed. Um, because I gotta. The, the unfortunate thing is I don't have enough things piping different audios through different things. I probably should. My mic also like I, I. I don't know how mine ends up sounding on other people's ends of Discord, but I use the Elgato Wave Three, and it is the happiest I've ever been with a mic. Um. So, can we talk about Arkham and interesting paintings? Because I'm trying to figure out if this is supposed to be representative of something. That's a, that is an interesting. When you see stuff like this, you wonder: was this somebody's concept art during production, or was this just? Did somebody on the team specifically request this, or was this just something somebody made on a whim, and they were like, "Hey, let's throw that in the game." Or do they spend like fifty bucks on deviant art to put it in the game? <laughs> that would be crazy. And yet I mean that would make sense, but it I mean, would be Do you, you remember don't... the what is it? The tally mask. Um Why would he say Oh that's right, the stock photo girl. Yes. That's right. Oh, and the fact that's that people so... just found it, like people like I think this is also because we're in black masks area. What's that going on with that? Is that like supposed to be hair? I know we're supposed to be revealing evidence, but it's like, I guess we're in Black Mask's area, but these are kind of like... I guess this is definitely we're going the Edgelord route. That's a bit like Man in the Iron Mask looking. Right. But this is... Oh yeah, this is where we do more of that time-reversing investigation. Yes. So we're scanning in fingerprints. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. Mm. These, this, this is, this is really good. I, I, I've not been impressed with uh, much of what WB did with Rocksteady's design. I think they kind of whiffed on the, co- they made the combat less deep. They made the environments more cluttered and confusing. So the platforming not as good, but. This is great. Except I do want to. I do want to note that uh, the camera just pulled me to look at this rather than letting me find it on my own. So. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I am. Mm. Rocket chap. Is Yay. rocket chap? Thank you for joining in. Jump again. I'm sure that's Rocketeer. Tiffany Ambrose. Oh, that's a good possibility. It could be. So I'm saying Arkham Car is just press attack and counter. Yes, it's it's not too different from um. See, see, made up and for me. Yeah, that's a really good point. It points out that the GCPD came in here and put up yellow tape, but then they left the bodies laying around. They didn't take the bodies away. So I'm not going to do the test, but as someone that has watched plenty of interesting online streams and stuff. This is, like, I would at least have put real, like, leggings on her. Because if you're going to put her in her skirt and hoist her up. Because that's, like, I don't know. I'm just sitting here, like, thinking the developers didn't think that 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 far into what are your edgelord teen-rated players going to be thinking to do. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. And... Uh, it looks like it was Penguin tossed it. Oh, they just showed it was Penguin silhouette. Now they're showing a generic guy. Right. What was that all about? It's like spoilers there, Detective Vision. I haven't figured that out yet. All right. So we got... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. How do you rewind? Oh, the left trigger. Oh, wait. No, I'm supposed to be checking... Am I supposed to check you again? The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. Oh, I guess we're just trying to figure out if it is or is not Penguin or not. 
<laughs> oh, but yeah, let's clown on, but let's clown on Penguin for being short. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. Such stinking prejudice to us short people. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. That's vertically challenged, Chris, you insensitive bastard. Hey, I'm 5'7". I'm allowed to these say this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell people, it's like, I'm 5'7". I'm the tallest in my family. And they're like, are you kidding me? You can't be the tallest. You're 5'7". You're the tallest. And yes. People ask me to reach for the top of the fridge. Like. The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? So, what am I looking for if I rewind? Oh, so far it's showing all these little time things, but it's having me scan all the kinds of stuff in. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the big red arrow, but then again, you definitely don't want to just be stuck here listening to the same thing over and over again. I'm not sure what the solution is, how you could make this more of a puzzle, and less of a just hunt for the red triangle and click on it. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, no, that's... Okay. Like, I don't know how to improve it, but I look at this and I feel that there is room for improvement. The fight broke out when someone startled the ship. Yeah. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. So we've got a whole bunch of timelines we're looking at. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Is there something else I get scanned? No, okay. So follow the red trail. Okay. Well, that, I... I keep hitting the wrong button, and part of it's because... Right. Well, part of it's also because, I, as I said, like I just got done Guardians of the Galaxy. They got a detect... Oh, hey, what is this? Oh, yeah, what is that? Uh, it's something that doesn't seem to let me... Fabric analysis indicates Ooh. the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. White suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder. But I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one so it was there. Kingpin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wrong universe. Was it Vincent? Not dang it! I keep wanting to hit left bumper. Was it Vincent D'Onofrio though? Oh hey, there's something going on over here now. How much stuff was going on in this place? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is some. This oh. was. Violence. I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Dang it. This, it feels like you're doing a crime scene after an Old West saloon brawl. What she was doing when she was attacked. Okay, what am I looking at? The phone. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the so, Joker. I scanned all that evidence in just to find a cell phone on the floor that was already on the floor. Right. Like, wouldn't you check that first? Oh, a cell phone. That's probably... Pa and that's the only data on it is... Oh, it, the Joker. Like, <laughs> the cell phones have a lot of stuff in them. Yeah, this was also where I was super disappointed because it's like, we just got done, like, the first real mission. And now the game's like... It's like, we did the prologue. Now we did chapter one. Chapter two. By the way, it's all about the Joker again. He's not even a cameo. It's just he's at the center of it all. Right. Like, Come on, man. I need access to the oh, um, and especially considering how much other stuff is going on in this story. And it's not just that Joker is here, but they want to introduce the Joker. So it's got to be his first big appearance. And yeah. so, yeah. Oh. I mean, oh, the, at least they didn't they have, try and figure out how the Joker became the Joker. That's... I hate that. I hate whenever the right. tries to give the Joker a proper origin. Um, right. He's better when you don't know. Yeah. Uh, we got some comments to catch up, but also uh, CD Rex 22 thank you for joining. Um, oh. Hi. I just noticed you. Oh, I gotta stun you first. Okay. Wait, is that a... Is that a cop? You, you, they've been cops, yeah. For some reason, they're cops guarding this place. Well, I guess because it's a crime scene, so that kind of makes sense. A <laughs> crime scene that they're not cleaning up. All right, men, I want you to make sure nobody cleans up this crime scene or deals with the bodies. Yeah, nobody actually guard the crime scene. Just stand outside. All right, let's catch up a little bit on some of the comments. 
So how they could improve it, the Telltale Batman series, way underrated, had a good idea where you matched evidence in order to create a logical story. It wasn't really solving the crime, but it was a fairly nice puzzle mechanic. I mean, there's a few places that have done stuff like that. Actually, one of my first thoughts for a game that did stuff like that recently is the visual novel um, I, the Somnium Files, which is really good, but super anime as all get out. So if you're able to, you know, do anime, then you'll love the game. If you're not able to handle anime, then, well, uh, yeah, I guess I can't help you. <laughs> but no, it's like they, they had a lot of like explore the environment. And some of those environments were also, um, they would deviate the story. So it's also like messing around with timelines kind of a deal. Which the director and writer of the game does a lot. Um, like, hey, let's just do random crazy timeline hijinks and time travel. Um, this one was relatively more grounded, but it also did um, explore, you know, rewind, fast forward the environment. Am I really supposed to be on this bridge? Where am I going? Let me. <laughs> if, you, if you cross the bridge and realize you weren't supposed to cross the bridge, so you have to cross the bridge again. Again. Well, I'm at least at the halfway point. I'm just, I was trying to find the objective marker because normally oh, you the see other, the bat signal. Yeah. Where's the right, bat that's signal? The, that's the other bad thing about this bridge is it's twice as long as it feels like it should be. So you think you're getting to the end and it's the halfway point. Oh, Acquire the, the bridge is so mean. Acquire the concu concussion detonator at the bat cave. That's oh, yeah, you can summon the thing and go back to the bat cave. That's what I'm wondering. So, oh, because there's the bat cave. Okay, yeah. Drop point. Okay. <laughs> that was a much longer loading screen on console when I was using a regular hard drive instead of the solid state. Yeah. I I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to say I miss it, but, um... The phone's battery is still alive with the screen on days late. <laughs> I'm about to tell him about my version 2. It wasn't perfect, but it was definitely engaging. Isomnium was actually my favorite game I played last year. Wait a second, but you enjoyed it. And they're making a sequel! The game undersold, and yet they're still making a sequel. I... Sometimes I love... I, I, I love the way Japanese companies work. Not always, because sometimes they're overly conservative. Hence, Capcom, Square Enix, Bandai Namco still using Denuvo. Um... Stuff like that, but it's like sometimes it's like, oh yeah, this game it well, undersold, but we love it anyway, so we're going to give it a sequel. It's like, yeah, this... it, is that AI Somnium or Al? It's technically pronounced I, the Somnium Files, but it is AI and very heavy handed with motifs. It would um drive you nuts. Oh, you could get experience for Alfred's wisdom. Cool. Let me talk to Alfred again then. Um, but it's like the, the icons of like an eyeball fits into it. AI computer stuff. Um, right. Where am I going now? I, I need this game to tell me every time that where my objective is. This is why you don't. There we go. So I be careful about talking and playing games, kids. Always pay attention to what you're doing. Don't talk and drive. Don't text and drive. Oh, concussion detonator. That means if somebody has a concussion, you can detonate them. <laughs> Alright, I acquired it. Now what? Access the GCP. Can I do that from my computer? Oh, yeah, there's the whole thing where you break into the GCPD. Now, I love the GCPD. It's a great... I mean, the building doesn't 100% make sense, but it's a cool-looking location. Oh, you can only do... Okay, that's what the bat suit... Cha I'm like, ooh, what is this for? Oh, it's for unlocking the different suits. So do I just fly back out? Yep, fast travel back out. Um... Um, Terminus Terminal? Yeah, I'm not reading chat. Good chat too, or is he make he multitask to the nth degree? Um, I mean, yeah, I Yeah, Chris, I, while you're while you're playing the game and talking to people, can you also read me the contents of the chat window? Yes, I will do exactly that. <laughs> there we go. Let's glide and now go back to the GCPD. 
Wee. I agree, 90% of the population has concussions um, made up. It, uh, Especially after tonight, this night, because you all... All the people in the streets are thugs somehow. Oh, but, because remember, everyone's locked up in their own homes. Cause... Right. But it's like, he just sort of assumes that all these people are thugs. And they all do see, they all do try and start a fist fight with Batman when he shows up. So they are kind hmm. of asking for it. I'm trying to figure out if this is also trying to be, like, the, the way Rudolph's nose is glowing. I'm wondering if that's supposed to be, I don't know, a, a, it doesn't look like how you'd normally do that kind of a poster. So I'm wondering if it's right. intentional, like trying to suggest something. But if it is, I don't know. So meanwhile, let's head to the GCR. Uh, there's the GCPD. And I could see a Enigma uh, puzzle right up ahead. Oh, yeah, that, that's something that they did better, is that the puzzles in this one aren't... Um, like a game show... Right, and there aren't, like, a hundred of them, like in the previous games. Uh, Arkham City, now, I like the puzzles in Arkham City, oh, okay, but there were yeah. just too many. Too many by, like, a factor of five. I gotta come back to this with the glue gun thing. Okay. No, I mean, that's the one thing that they recognized, I think, pretty well, was there's just way too much... At the, um, th there was way too much stuff in Arkham City. But then in Arkham Knight, it was even, it, well, it was all those bat races. That's part or, of the problem. It was like, yeah. I think there were fewer challenges and stuff like that, but so much of it was the bat, like the, the races and stuff. And so it comes off seeming... Right, like it's yeah. more or like CD, worse. CD Rex says it makes it look like they were celebrating Riddler Day in Arkham City, <laughs> and that's the perfect way to say it. Yeah. Oh, this is just a data pack that I can't just. No, that's definitely too high. Oh, I see. It's stuck to the wall, and you. Yeah, it, it wouldn't let me just grab it. All right, now where? What do I do next? Because I get the feeling I'm supposed to be taking out all these guys. The question is, who's alone? You're alone. I hope you, nobody can see me. I think I'm far enough. Nobody will. And... <laughs> oh, denied. <laughs> now, are these real policemen? Or are these people disguised as policemen? Like, I, I missed They're that real part. Police. They were policemen. So, uh, no wonder Batman's got a bad rap in the city in his very first uh, year or so. He's, um... He's knocking he's out the cops. He's handing out free concussions to to Gotham's finest. Uh, so let's see. Those guys are patrolling that away. Do I have things that are good for? Because as soon as I send out something like a um, batarang, it's going to put them on alert, and I don't want to do that. And I'm trying to see what their line of sight's going to be. Like, I might be able to glide kick this guy real quick and take him out. Okay. At any given moment. Oh, they see me anyway. If you, if you were to go to the roof of a police station right now in December, in, in any major city, how many police officers do you think you will find patrolling the roof? Um, not any. Right. At most, you'd have one on smoke break. Exactly. Oh, wait. <laughs> and they're right. walking around with sniper rifles? We... Wait, we're th three of them. Where did one of you come from? I'm also assuming that beating them up is what I'm supposed to do. Again, this is the uh, problem. I think of, you're supposed to, yeah. This is the problem of me just uh kind of uh see and this is another option where it's like, aren't there ways to just insta take down from here? I feel like they like they started adding those in some of the other ones, but just because that's the thing, it's like if you're not from a specific kind of a perch, it seems like they don't really give you as uh as much to work with. 
So can I go get that guy? Can I take him out? Or do I have to take this guy out first? I'd take the nearest guy. That's what I would do. Because everybody else is facing away. But then, you know no matter who you go after, the, the other guys are just going to turn around. Whoops. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. See, okay. Oh, he fell. Okay. Because I got him with a batarang, and he's still down. Weird. Since when does a batarang knock somebody out? I think he got glitched. Oh, he might be able to see me from there. Here, let me go all the way, not to the gargoyle, evidently. Isn't this a weirdly cluttered, like those gargoyles, but not where you can grab them easily? Like, it feels like this encounter right, area needs another pass. Well, yep. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is not like, a very also, good... Oh, shoot, he got grenades. It also feels like you should probably not let this guy shoot you. Yeah. Oh, why'd you turn around like that? Oh, run, 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 so I can just knock you out. So that was a very bad stealth encounter, but it does, uh, that's the thing, it's like, they all got guns, but it's like, where's the hiding places? Right. Like, if they were patrolling in a way that it made sense, like, the, the guy that was all the way over here, right? Made sense to go over here when he was isolated and then just, you know, knock him out, or over there? Over there. But none of the other guys it made sense. And oh wait, no, the door the gar guy was guarding. That's where I want to go. Okay. Now I only played the first season. Uh, okay, you want to talk about weird proportions right here? Right. Look like, at that doorknob. It's, it's a huge door. The doorknob the is lower than it ought to be. And like, yet the doorknob is still like at elbow his, height, with which his is handling, oddly yeah. high. I mean, part of this is video game, but you're right, it is so noticeable in this one. But yeah, um, the... What was it? Um, I played the first Telltale season, and I... I don't know, I had mixed feelings. I found it also kind of amusing that it was the precursor to then, and it probably happened elsewhere... But it's like it's the precursor to the Joker movie where it's like, oh, by the way, it turns out Papa Bruce was actually kind of a jerk. Um, or not Papa Bruce, Papa Wayne. Um, so oh, like, that really goes against his character, though. Oh, but they're trying the to be subversive, thing. man. The Joker was that way, too. It's like they're trying to be subversive. Uh, though with the Joker, it's also we're basically making a 70s movie, so rich people are just jerks by default. Um, I yeah, I don't mind being subversive, but you can't attack the core concepts of a character, or you're making no. a different character, like making Peter Parker a chosen one instead of a random. Oh teenager. yeah, because they're trying to reach out to the like that. That was one of the, and I understand in some ways if anybody, it'll be um, if anybody Peter Parker, but. All right, I can drop down. I remember, I vividly remember this. I was on top of that wire for a long time. I couldn't figure out. I didn't understand that I was seeing through the roof of an elevator. And I thought if I dropped down, I was going to land on those guys. And I didn't want to come in and just punch all the police. <laughs> so I didn't understand what I was supposed to do. What are you, what are you guys waiting for? Oh, there was another anchor point. What the heck was that camera zoom? Uh. What are you doing, Chris? I don't know. Oh. I guess I'm in, in detective. Maybe they didn't expect you to be in detective mode that much. I wonder about that, too. Sometimes it feels like they expect you to be in it all the time because that's the only way you would know where you're supposed to go. And other times, they it's very clearly they think you should not have it on because otherwise you'll miss, you know, important things. So I don't know. Uh, 
go into the comments. Firstly, Batman is just three feet tall. He's just starting out. That that's that's good commentary there. <laughs> I really don't like this knocking out cops though. I I mean it he, is I can't weird. say it's wrong. It's weird. I can't say it's right. I can't say it's wrong. It's not like oh I can't believe that an early version of Batman would ever do that. It's like eh, there's all kinds of different versions of Batman. It's a valid thing, well, but it bothered me because that's not the kind of Batman I want to be. Well, it's not even just that. It feels like they're also kind of. Can I? No, I already unlocked you. They're all locked because I got to do rank threes and systems and stuff like that because challenges. Do you have to, like, hold on. Let me see if you know. It just unlocks. So as soon as you do these different challenges, oh, I'm on rank three. And then I got to get rank four. Perform three special combo takedowns. Uh, uh I, I guess I get it. Um, where is leveling up again? Oh, here we go. Um, concussion detonator, stun duration, uh, effects are boosted to increase enemy recovery time. That doesn't sound too bad. Uh, let's get more, um, bullet ammo, uh, armor. Cause I think with the rushed way I'm playing this, I might need armor really bad. If there's an amusement park in Gotham, can you look for a you must be this tall sign? <laughs> that door looked correct. That door looked right on the money. See, it is pro properly proportioned with itself and against Batman. Bane's mercenaries, Penguin's gang. These are all comic book drawings, basically, too. It's kind of funny. Oh, and here we got some of the main guys. Black Mask Mafia. Is that Salman Grundy at the top? Is that chains or a rope? What am I... Who's... Who's at the top That's of red that? yarn. The, what? No, that's... What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the guy, not the material. Come on, man. But no, it's like, who are these giant guys in Black Mask's gang? Like, who... who? Ah, uh, well. But I think what they're trying to do as well is, no, do, no, it's okay, it's okay. Like, all these cops are corrupt, so it's okay to knock them out. And it's like, you know, there have mm. always been corrupt cops, but Batman always still had a way of not, you know, right. beating them up. In fact, I think in, in Arkham, and maybe even Arkham City, it kind of hints that Batman... Wow. <laughs> The Dark Knight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it kind of hints that Batman prefers to let Gordon deal with the crooked cops so he doesn't have to deal with them. There we go. And it didn't do anything like I thought it would. Oh, no, he's awake. No. Okay, I got the counter just in time. And now I can knock you out. And then knock you out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I should probably look up the... I mean, aside uh, from the three felonies involved, that wasn't oh, well, yes, at all. Yeah, 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 I mean... <laughs> no, it's okay, they're corrupt. I didn't realize that if a cop is corrupt, you could just walk up and punch the crap out of him. I didn't know that. Yep, that's exactly how it works. The law, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's not what this is. Oh, he's saying I can't do it. Because, yeah, this is where you need, like, electro gloves, I think. Right. Uh, um, open door. Oh, I can't open that door either. So, what was I supposed to do in here? There's no oh. way Batman could get that door open, Chris. What were you thinking? That window? How would you even get through a door with a window like that? All right, so no joke. When I was in college, I did try and run... Um, Resident Evil themed D20 modern games. But the problem yeah. is, because I really liked the first Resident Evil in particular, I tried to have the whole locked, um, thanks for telling me what to do game. It's not like I already, like, used this to get in here. But it's, I, I, I wanted to have, like, the whole locked doors and everything like that going on. And then as I was, like, creating the campaign, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. This is D&D. &D. All you have to do is just, like... Okay. 
they can, I can be quiet. So I'm sitting here, it's like, well, I can't just ask them to get the clover-shaped key because they'll be like, there's a fire extinguisher on the wall. Let's right. just break the lock. So it right. was... It was not a very long-lasting campaign anyway, because I was always good for, like, one set, one or two sessions, but I was never good at, uh... Do... I was never good at DMing, like, full campaigns. Um... Yep. Use the remote call to launch the fire extinguisher towards the SWAT officers. Okay. This? Oh. Really? It's gonna... Hmm. Really, this is this is what we're doing, Batman. This is your plan. Okay. Is it gonna rope in multiples of them? Let's find out. Batman beats up three cops in the middle of the police station, then refuses to just shove a door open. <laughs> All right, that's close enough. Now get away from. All right. How did he do that? Um. Rope. What every D and D adventurer you know needs. Did anyone ever try I... and do like a screenshot comic of stinking Boondock Saints just because they have the rope line? I don't know. It's like screen screenshot comics were becoming more of a thing. Like they even started doing them with some anime. They just started doing them with some video games. I never paid attention to screenshot comics. To the face. I don't think they're very good. <laughs> good uh, who who was that in the comment? Uh, the the not the comments the um the PA system. Yeah, I I wondered that too. I didn't look at the subtitles because I was too Shit. busy congratulating myself for my self referential humor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can't get that one yet. It's hooked up to something. You want to play it like that? Maybe I'll have the guys. Yeah, you can just reach through. That's the the glass is apparently just reach throughable. Yeah. Yes, the one I want to knock out in this situation is the cop, not the penguin thug. Right. All right. Oh, this is a guy you beat yep. up earlier in the evening. That's yep. great. Oh, this is the guy you hung upside down. Yep, and just dropped. Oh, he's not in the hospital? I know. Oh, it's okay. The Christmas tree ca uh, ca caught his fall. I mean, he's throwing you with the roof, but you survived the last drop without having to go to the hospital. So, I mean... How'd that work out for you last time? Loose lips? They're gonna call you loose teeth from now on. <laughs> Alright, I don't know where we're going from here. Just... Loose lips. You should have kissed him. That would, that would well, make his name all weird and confusing. Oh, I just realized I can, get a th I can get a treasure this way. Because... Oh, you got three seconds. No. No. Okay. I had the right. Oh, that's we. I had the uh, right. Um. Quick. Quick fires just without aiming, but. All right. I got the little treasure. Not that I know what it does. Alright. No, that's not what so I So an entire room full of police officers and none of them have firearms. Okay, this and is evidently the, most the batarang doesn't blow up the uh Alright, so I'm I'm a little off my game because I was like, oh I'm gonna blow up the red canister like video game logic dictates. Ah. Oh, I really am screwing up now. It's like I just wanted to I just wanted to explode them all with a red canister that in video game logic means you could blow everything up. And instead it only did nothing. Oh, I should have used that on the armored guy. Ah. 
Come on, move. Get it. Nope. I lost my combo the classic again. Classic police weapon of baseball bat. Yeah. There we go. Quick. Take like, on I that don't guy. understand why that guy had a baseball bat. Policemen carry batons. Oops. It's almost sticks, like. The, yeah. Did, at some point in development, was this place supposed to be filled with goons? And then they real quick just changed them to police officers without changing their loadouts? I think they just didn't feel like changing their loadout, period. Oh, you can't just jump through this? All right, let's blow up the cardboard. All right, what are we doing in here? Oh, we're just walking around a door. We we can't blow open the door, but we can certainly blow open the cardboard in the window. But no, that's, I think it's more likely that they just... It's all the same AI. It's all the same general models with different skins. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? You're Aaron, aren't you? The dude who loses his hand to the croc. Oh, right, that guy. Wait, but it... Oh, silent take done still. I guess not. Oh, he doesn't sound like he's... Pit. He doesn't sound like he's a... Uh, yeah. I call it the bat stink. Alright, that's just the regular, um person that like reports this stuff oh we had a loading screen oh yeah barbara gordon's like a teenager oh right yep. oh yeah and she argues with her dad of all the other things they're trying to do in this story they're also trying to introduce barbara gordon and naturally because I, she's actually, a teenager she doesn't get along with her dad okay so the camera is occasionally wonky um, interruption and changes in stream quality. Um, I am getting some dropped frames. Actually, the stream quality is pretty low. Let me do a double check on something. Just to be sure. Because sometimes when this happens, it's because... Let me think. Because you're streaming anime in the background. Uh, not Close quite. Netflix. Not quite. No, that's not going on. Um... Well, it could be one of two things. Let me see if I can adjust this here. All right, I adjust the resolution on my screen share to Seamus. Let's see if that improves anything. I mean, it's not going to for Seamus, but no, it is seeming low this time. It wasn't this low last week. Last week, everything operated oh, smoothly. The, 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 the live stream looks way better in my screen share that you share with me. Looks a little worse, but I don't mind. I'd rather everybody else. Have. Oh, no, no. It looks like yeah, for the, a moment, the, the live Twitch stream. stream yeah, the Twitch stream great. is starting to be really, really low. Um, let's try one more. One more drop in frame rate and see what happens there. Um, cause it doesn't look like there's anyone else in the house using that much internet, but it's still dropping, which means it could be Twitch. It could be a lot of things. This is one of the things that makes this like not an exact science. Streaming is not an exact science. So we'll give it a little bit. And if the performance continues to be less than solid, um, we might have to call it an early night. I've had to do that before. It's always unfortunate, but... Um, oh wait, I got turned around. You're getting a lot of buffering. And of course on your guys' end, you can always try seeing if you can drop it to 480, but it does look like a lot of this is on my end. Um, and that's always, always unfortunate when that happens. But it happens sometimes. Um, let's see. And we're just going up the ladder. I wish you could deliberately scale down what it's sending to me with screen share. 
so that it, you know because i don't need that much quality and then it could save more of the quality for um well and that's also assuming that's the what twitch. The, that's what the actual problem is because that's the thing right. again we had no issues last week and then all of a sudden now we seem to be having issues it's like eh, i should have gra- uh, switched over and grabbed you there and now we come to the most typical Oh, wait, they'll actually see now that I think about it. There's a lot more guys in here than I would have expected. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't more of you guys be up on the roof? There's a party going on up there. I know. What, what the heck? Why did he throw? I didn't even have that equipped. I had this equipped. And then I let go. Why did it drop? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just messing with them. Well, now they know there's a Batman here. Are you going to come here so I can just... All right. Yoink! You're right, though. It's like, this is a room full of cops that I'm just going to sit here taken out. Like... There is no way that doesn't seem that doesn't seem weird. Like, What's he doing to us? see, like, look, like, what can I do to that explosive canister? Because re evidently, a regular batarang just planks off of it. That that's weird. That should have worked. I don't understand why that didn't work. I know that's how it works in city. You throw a batarang. Is that? Don't throw a sonic battering, though. you got to throw a yeah. regular one. Well, that's what I did. That's what makes it strange. Try one of the ones that you pilot manually. They're Although, right. I'll bet you won't let you do it while you're balanced on this wire. I'll try from over here. That way, I don't know. i got plenty of hiding space. Yeah. Oh, now they're all gone, though. Well, it's just an experiment. Oh, yeah, you're right. Now it exploded. Oh, and that was a real explosion, like, with fire? I, that feels a little more deadly than, um... Than, no, it's okay, yeah, they're crooked it, cops. It, Just remember, they're crooked... That's not what I wanted to do. And crooked cops are immune to explosions. No, well, I mean, it just means it's okay to hurt them. Right, I just... It looked really deadly to me. Yeah, but we don't care because it's Batman and they're crooked cops. Right. <laughs> come on, come on over here. Come on in here. Don't panic. Stay in control. There's too many of them now. I can't just knock one out, the others will know. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Uh your eyes ain't that good, evidently. Oh see now there here's where okay, no, that's not an explosive. And that's just a, uh... Why are they all up there? Oh, can I actually just... Yep. They'll see me, but... <laughs> oh, sloppy work, Batman. <laughs> and now they're all... They never grouped up like this, and... Right. But... It didn't oh. even knock the guy out. There's only one of them. You know, you look at this. They're all looking at me. They're looking right at me. <laughs> Not sure what just happened there as they just look that, right at me. <laughs> do you think that guy in the black cloak up in the ceiling has anything to do with this? Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. I love everything about that. <laughs> But yeah, they never grouped up like that in the other games. I feel like even the AI isn't isn't that hot here. Right, and in the other one, you could... Having them group up, there was something you could do that would uh, enable... That would have made that OP to get them to group up like that. But I can't remember what it was. So which way is you guys going to go? Because I was going to see... 93, that I totally agree that it would be more Batman-ish to sneak through them without being seen and that the sloppy thing to do should be to take them out and the really sloppy thing to do would be to brawl them. 
Oh. Um, gonna go in here. Oh, nope. I'm getting shot. Get in there. Did he have a way to just like, okay, I died. I could have sworn he had a way to just tear those things open and uh, stuff like that, but I guess the, not. The, it was faster in Arkham City. In, no, in Arkham Asylum, you could just, if you were doing a slide, you could slide it, you could run at it and do a floor slide through it. And it okay. would just pop open. I do, I do hate that you can't cancel out of that. Um, first, let's check is the, no, the, the rate at which it's streaming is still kind of, let me see, let me check something on my end. Let me see if I can at least settings, drop the frame rate or something like that. Uh, if it will allow me to do any of that. Um, No, it's not going to let me while I'm streaming make any adjustments like that. So, um, crud. Process priorities as high as I can put it, too. I wish I knew what it was or if there was something like, oh, hey, this program is clearly downloading something. Um, or this update is currently running. Um, but I don't unfortunately have anything that will make it as clear. It doesn't look like it's as bad as it was for a little bit there though, but it is still pretty bad. Um, so we'll keep this, we'll, we'll keep doing the GCPD and then we'll see from there. And I got to do this whole room from the beginning. The All right. Well, at least this time I know to just snag you real quick. Right off the bat. Yoink. Yoink. Alright, who's over here? You two guys. You and you. Ooh. I could just immediately take yep. another one guy down. There we go. Made up also made the point that this room is like four stories tall. And it would be impossible to keep warm. Just only he would gather at the oh, yeah. ceiling. Oh, yeah. No, so yeah, cold. you're right. It feels like it would be more interesting, and it would vary things a bit. Lower the ceiling so you can't hide in the ceiling, and then make you Oh, sneak. crap. I thought he was further oh. away. What? Drop a pellet, you worthless vigilante. <laughs> But have you sneak through these guys rather than just brawling? No, no, that would actually be way more Batman. Yeah. That's, I guess, another thing where it's like so many of the options to knock these guys out is also really noisy. So, right. It, and so they have them clumped together. Like I feel like the original, like the other games, they, they're they never in more than just two pairs, right? Or, or a pair of two, right. I should say. Right, the... the they pair up, but you never see them in big bunches. Um, and because there's not much the player can do with them, so that you just have to sit there and wait if they're in a big bunch like that. Okay, so this doesn't actually go anywhere. So that's another thing. In, in Arkham City, especially, they do have a lot of grates and stuff that you can use as shortcuts between floors or different areas. So you not only can... Get, okay. So you not only <laughs> can right. get out, but um, so you can plan better. All right, now it's only showing. Okay, because there, there's a guy down there. But I've taken out enough that some of these guys are isolated. You are all alone. Nobody loves you. Nobody cares about you. Sort of a gun. That's not what I wanted to do, but it doesn't matter because he's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you just sprang down <laughs> to the floor and did a little cape flourish and then disappeared into the floor and there was nobody around to see it. <laughs> just drops okay, down, you... I am the knight, and then goes into the... <laughs> right. <laughs> and this is the thing, too, because I'm also chilling in the grades because it's like, all right, let's do something more than just inverted takedowns. And nope. They are everywhere, but we're... I could make use of the game's mechanics. Which is an issue with, like, all of them, admittedly, oh. but... Yeah. 
Well, this right here, this is a great strategy. This guy's mobile. That's not possible. To, to be mobile? He can move. <laughs> he can move. All right, we, we're oh, learning no, about no, him. No, 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 Why do you never drop the pellet when I need you to drop the pellet? Drop the pellet, you jerk. There's actually a cooldown on the pellet. Is there? Yep. It's actually it's annoyingly right. long. Uh, does it have a... No, that's a concussion. Oh, it's over here. Well, it looks like it's ready. Yep. All right, you are... Oh, oh, son of a gun. He's gonna... Thanks, game. Okay, this is a mercifully silent takedown, and there's already coming my way. All right. Try running into that grate and doing a floor slide. Oh, well, huh? it's a little too late. Too late. <laughs> What is your actual goal here? I believe 93, the goal is just to get through this room. To specifically access the servers. Oh, you can go further here. You want to access the GCPD servers and find out information about Roman Sionis, the Black Mask, or find out information about um, the Joker, because already we need to find out information about the Joker, because we heard about him and therefore... The world's greatest detective. To find clues, I'll go to the police station, break in, and see if they have any clues. Alright. Your your plan is to copy other people's homework. Good work, Batman. Well, unscrewing the grates might admittedly take just as long. Oh, you know what? I should have just stayed in there. I would have been able to just knock that guy out. What is that speaker box used to communicate with enemies in the room? Can be disabled with a disruptor. But I don't need to. Now, can I do anything other than a drop attack on this guy? No, it's only the drop attack. I guess this is one of the reasons why I didn't so much mind... Some of the... We're going to make it easy for you elements of the Spider-Man game. Because at the same time, it's like, well, I'd be done this already. All right. right. All right. Now will it blow up? Right. And it did absolutely nothing. And he's looking at me again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. I'm Batman. Who are you? Thanks for walking this way. And now there's another guy. Oh, wait, no, he's... Mm. Whatever. This is the easiest one to get away from. There we go. Now, where are you guys? It should, it should only be two left, right? Yep. Oh, shoot. I thought he was going to take the stairs, not just jump up like that. Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, that physics engine went crazy there. No! Alright, take him down. Punch him out. Nope. Worst stealth section ever. And then the, that was just perfect there. The slow mo of not punching him out at the end, where you just kind of hovered awkwardly in front of him and he fell over. That was yep. just a perfect finish to that fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I don't think I've ever done in any Batman game a stealth section as sloppy as that. Peace on all of All of that just so Peace we could box. open this stinking door. Yep. I do wonder, actually, if we could have just... Come on, really? Really? <laughs> Are they really going to make me fight these guys? Is this going to teach me about double takedown? Yes. Physics engine. <laughs> and what is it? Like, oh, it's a firing range. I was going to say, it's like, are they about to execute people? It's like, dang. Okay. 
Okay, at least these guys have an excuse why they didn't hear didn't hear the explosions in the next room. Yes. The other guys that were in the bullpen, I I don't know what their excuse was. All right. Did he leave his pat wrench in his other suit? Oh no, because it's all. Oh no, we gotta get through crypto. Yeah. I'm hitting exit there. Okay. Yeah, 93, you you have to use your hacking tool on the door and you won't let you use that while there's police in the area, I believe. Although that would be an interesting experiment if there were only a couple left and they were on the other side of the room. Could you hack the door open and just skip them? I don't know. There's the server room. Where's the evidence room? Evidence room. Okay, the signs are on there. And immediately... I love the physics engine in this game. Again, this was designed for cons consoles in mind, so the engine is designed for like 30 frames a second. So now that we're going at a higher frame rate, bodies just fly. That's like the biggest indication that you're playing a game that was designed for console first and PC second and they never ever tested for what right. happens when this runs faster than 30 frames a second uh, yes I get it all the passwords are supposed to be ironic because they're crooked all of them except Jim Gordon which in some ways isn't too dissimilar to what they did in um, Batman Year One by Frank Miller. And in some ways even, uh, what was it, Batman Begins? Like, that's supposed to be the thing. Like, Gotham PD was always corrupt, but at the same time, again, Batman was always willing to uh, not beat up the cops because he's trying right. to... He's trying to present an image. I'll throw the kid cut and detonate. Oh. Can I not get in there from... Alright, yeah, I'm not seeing any... Doorways, and it's not showing me a way to, um... Oh, we got the jammer signal. Okay. So, who am I throwing the kid cut and detonate? Concussion detonator on. Alright. Whoop. Oh, somebody's getting yeah, a gun. Yeah, I know. You, you, you don't want to let them get a gun, Chris. I know. Stop them from getting a gun. And I already broke my... Alright, armored guy with a gun, we get to take him out immediately. Oh, come on. You know what this game also doesn't seem to have that I remember? Critical hits. Like you do the flying through the... Uh, flying through the air like you do when you get critical hits. You just don't get critical hits. So what am I doing now? Am I just pressing this button? Yes. <laughs> Did you see that comment? Did you see the subtitle? Did you hear it? The guy's like, is that him? He's working with the cops now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally, totally working with the cops now. That's exactly what just happened here. <laughs> That's just what you saw. They oh all had goodness. insomnia, and I came in to help them out. Good, you've made it to the infirmary. Now look for an entrance to an old elevator shaft. That this is their infirmary? Got it. Yeah. I, it's not nearly big enough based on the work you've done this evening. I feel like they saw Arkham Asylum and are like, great, that's the aesthetic we're going for. GCPD, what does it look like? Arkham Asylum. 
right? It's this horribly disused, crumbling thing, and it's like, eh, I kind of feel like it would be okay if the police station wasn't, you know, a, a, a maze of horrors. Yep. All right. Well, now what? Oh, that, that thing. Okay. And we got some electricity. But where does it go to? Well, not there. Hmm. There was steam down there. I forgot how much steam is just used in places in this game. Are we going to get that sooner than I think? The uh, glue gun? That's not an ice gun, but totally has the same effect as the ice gun. It even looks like it. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder too. I know what that's for now. Okay. This might be tough. Uh, if you press both triggers, you do a 180. Oh, you already know that. Yeah. Okay. It's just... Ooh. All right, slowing down and then slowing down again. And we're going to... Where is it? It's around here, right? Let's not catch it because it's electric. It's electric. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what garbage uh, line dancing schemes they have kids do in gym classes these days. I should ask my niece. It's like we had electric slide. We had don't break my heart. It's like, what do they make oh, you man. kids do? They just made us run in a circle. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? I was okay with that. I would rather run in a circle than do the electric slide. The the, which for some reason people continue to do at weddings. It's like, look, you guys aren't like in fifth grade anymore at school. You could just, you could just, you know, not do these dances. The, our, our gym class was also not co-ed. So the last thing you want is to be in a group of all guys dancing together. That would just yeah. not go over. That would just not go over, especially in the 80s. Let's also talk about how badly repaired this... So they just blocked up the elevator? Right. It's like, wait, you blocked an elevator and just, like, bricked over it? But the morgue... But, like, why would you... I don't know where that goes, but the morgue is still... Why Yeah. Morgue. Why is there a morgue at a police state? Is that normal? No, you're actually going into another building. You're, like, breaking through the infrastructure between the basements. Oh. It's weird. Now, what happened here? Did the thugs break out? And I gotta use a disruptor because we need to, um... Oh, that... Oh, okay, I already did... So somehow, I helped, oh wait, no, I didn't help release them, did I? It was actually someone else's doing stuff in the GCPD at the same time. What's your password for when there's a lockdown? Lockdown? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no, a Bane guy. Wait, is that Bane? No, Bane is friggin' huge. Why does Bane let other people use his, um, tech in this one? Wasn't that the problem? Like, he doesn't want them right. using his tech. Right, that seems very uh -oh. suspicious to uh -huh. me. What? Yet. Yeah. Don't let him grab you, Chris. Uh, I'll try not to. Uh, do you, do you, do you want any more, do you want any more strategy tips? Should I punch the guy to make him fall down? Yes. Oh, that one I could block. Okay. All right. I was thinking I should hug him to death. I wasn't sure if that would work or not. All right. Can I do this? I can. You can instant knock out the Bane guy. And he'll just pick up a knife. I guess that just... Whoa. Keeps him from... Uh, yep charging me don't let him stab you with the knife Chris really I thought cuts make you go faster oh gotta go fast so 
I saw the counter icon and Batman did nothing instead. Mmm. Keep losing. Bat blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. I'm trying to remember now, that was stinking Scott Pilgrim, or that was, a uh, whoop, dodgeball. Oh, just because I wasn't holding the button down? Bleed my own blood? That would be dodgeball. Okay. I nearly have Scott Pilgrim memorized, and that's not enough. Oh, wrong. Ah, I thought you were down already. Did you ever get to read the Scott Pilgrim comic, or were you only able to see the movies? Only saw the movies. I want to get the trade paperbacks or whatever, but they were friggin' expensive. Yes, they are. It is a shame to get all of them. Oh, I'm because he, he's in the fire, I'm now on fire. Alright, let's not beat you into a pulp when you're... I love it's just me and him left, and he still went to try and pick up the knife, even though I was standing right by it. All right. I got another level up. You know what that means? Considering I keep More. getting shot to death. <laughs> All right. That's still a glass, right? Yeah, still a glass. How do you get in there then? Wait, uh, I don't. I don't wonder about how Batman gets in there. I wonder how the police get in there. Because I'm not seeing... There's no door well, on Batman, that side. Batman could glide in there if he, he had a way to get some height. Uh, yeah, there's no... Oh, is the door open now? Was there a door over there? I thought it was just blocked up. No, there's an open door there now. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so there is a door. It's just not open. And far as I can tell, there's no way for me to open it and get the treasure inside. Oh, well. We just going to uselessly jump over instead of jumping down the pit and make our way back. I have no business with you. Beat him up. I wonder if you could. There's a door here, too. Which way am I going again? Okay, there's nothing of interest here. I'm starting to understand why objective markers are in games for people that pay absolutely no attention to the dialogue. Which normally is not a problem for me. Right, but as soon as you start talking to someone, and you know, the, uh, it's not that uncommon, even if you're not a streamer, you might be sitting on the couch with a sibling and, you know, only ha and not really hearing the, the dialogue of the game. Passing the controller back and forth. And yeah. it's like... You know, you come in with the chips and your brother hands you the controller because he has to go pee. And then you pick it up and you're like, uh, what are we doing here? Actually, that was always one thing in your comments for uh, DM of the Rings that I, I always tried to picture. Because I, you know, I was in college playing D&D &D with a whole bunch of other millennials at that point. So the perfect age... Where you'd have people playing D and D, but then the other guys playing Xbox when it wasn't their turn. I never had that situation right. in my groups, and we like it was like there were the people there to do that, but we never actually had that situation. So I was always said they're like, has has Seamus been in that situation where he's playing D and D, and you have the two guys just playing Halo, and they're like, uh, my guy, my guy, his just attacks roll for me. Like, did you ever have that situation? We did not ever have that. Although I did have. Um, this was before smartphones, so. Oh yeah, Can't now, remember. now, because I, I remember I was late to cell phones, but like I got a flip phone. Like iPhones were not a thing right. then. Right. So sometimes people would be on their flip phones. Oh, and one of the guys had a PSP. Okay. That might. I could see that then. Someone playing a PSP game if it's not their turn. I just find it because it's, it's, it's stuff that wouldn't surprise me. And even now, like even with other friends my age where, yeah, you all be hanging out and someone just randomly opens their phone 
and it's like uh, like you're in mid conversation, and someone just opens their phone and starts looking at it, and it's like, I, okay, is the is the conversation done? No, I'm listening, and it's like, I, I'm, oh, yeah, are you sure? Can, be used to jam their weapons. can it be? Ninety three asks if those um if those um paramedics were corrupt. Yeah, they were corrupt. Oh. They they would uh they were healing that guy without making sure he had in health insurance first. Totally oh. corrupt. Uh, see, have you do you know how many like counters I've actually beaten with a regular punch? Get him on the crowd. Right, where you just punch a guy when he's about to attack you, and you sort of get oh, away I with screwed it. Up the buttons there. All right, stomp him. Oh no, that was that was me being bad and hitting the wrong button. All right, that looks brutal. We're the law here. I think maybe this guy needs to save his trash talk for after he wins the fight. Yeah. No, they they're still they're still full of gumption. They still think they can win. They're full of something. <laughs> Alright, so Wait, was this even the way to the I guess this is Well the those paramedics are gonna be really busy tonight. Oh, I did go to the server room. It's just now I'm in the, uh, the firing range. Why were they hanging out on that side of the firing range? <laughs> right? That's like breaking all kinds of rules. I mean, no joke. It really is. <laughs> it's like, you guys, it's like, do, do, do you guys, do I need to teach you about proper trigger discipline? Do I need to teach you about making sure, even if you take the clip out, you got to make sure there's no other rounds in the chamber? Like, do I need to teach you guys these things? I'm for, uh, it's like, I, it's like, I got family that goes I don't hunting. think you I need to teach them that because they didn't have any guns. That's the really weird thing. No, they guys... did. I disrupted the one gun. Oh, okay. They were just taking turns with it. Oh, that's convenient. You know, I really did like Barbara Gordon. That um, elevator. I liked, I liked um, that she appeared in this game. I just wish she could have gotten a, like a little story. You know, they're, they're so just, just a cameo, basically. Well, again, right. it's, like, it's like you said. There's too much going on in these games. Yeah. But and don't don't huge... worry. You can play as her in Gotham Knights. Is that is that silence because of the cutscene or because? You don't want to yeah. think about playing Go Gotham Knights. <laughs> no, no. I just, I just really wanted to see this scene between Batman and Gordon. We've earned Gotham's respect. That were true. I wouldn't believe. Oh, see, he just justified why he beats up cops. If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Look at that snarl. I wonder if I just keep holding. Oh, he does it automatically. He didn't press nothing! Boo! Oh, that is bullcrap. Yeah, the disruptor doesn't uh, do very well. Alright, now let's take you out. Oh, there's only three of them. Nah, didn't beat the counter that time. Oh. Whiffed right over his head. Oh, that, that beat one the counter. Right looks that... like it looks like somebody tries to kick you, and you grab their leg, lift it up, and then knee them in the balls. Ooh. It's just absolutely savage. And then he just walked right out. No, no, no. That's why we didn't beat up the paramedics. They're not corrupt. Unless again, they didn't. They, they yeah. The... Let's see. Double takedown. Double takedown. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Physics engine. I love it. Hello. Hello, Batman. It's Barbara. Sorry for hacking into your comms, but she's that talented. She's already hacking into your comms. Like, I'd be okay with that. I just wish she got a little more time. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll 
either circuit and render the stuff useless. So use a disruptor on crates. Strip penguins, six army caches. These are side quests, though. I don't have to care about them right now while we're streaming. All right, right. now, the rate... Okay, so the bit rate for the stream has been fluctuating. It's not awful. It's not great. Um, but it's still not the performance that I would like. So I think maybe... That calling it a night and next week maybe try streaming at 30 frames a second just to be safe yeah um, good plan because that's the thing like I, I've, I've done long streams before but this is unusual this isn't how it was last week and I, I definitely like to make sure people get as good of a performance as we can as we can offer so um, this is the kind of thing that annoy the crap out of me though by the way just oh now I have to deal with helicopters in the open world that's that's what I love. I don't love wandering in open world. I love having to hide and just... Like, you got an open world where you can do all of the side stuff, and the further you get in the game, the, l the less freedom you have to do it. I think right. that's one of the reasons I try and illustrate to my friends, like... Because some of them don't like Breath of the Wild that much, the Legend of Zelda game. And it's like, no, you don't understand, though. Breath of the Wild is great because... There's a thing. I'm going to go interact with the thing. I'm going to discover a thing. I discovered a thing. I, I now benefit and gain from exploring the thing. All right, I'm done with that thing. I turn around. Oh, there's another thing. Let me go do that. And it's not just a perfect loop where nothing takes too long to explore. You're free to explore. There's nothing that says, oh, now that you've got the upgrades to freely explore, we're going to make it more difficult for you to freely explore. Like it's oh, now you have to do a hundred mook fights between here and every map marker. Yeah, and I think that was where my biggest dislike of this game came in. Was I know there's going to be a point where every stinking rooftop has a sniper. And I know Arkham City had something like that as well. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't mind Sony's Infamous series. Because they had a the control sort of thing where it's like you'd go to the different sectors and you'd fight or do some kind of mission there and then, or a select or a series of missions. And then that zone was taken over and you pushed enemy factions back until there's barely any of them that spawns in the open world. They still spawn in the open world yeah. because the game wants to make sure you have something to shoot, fight, beat up or something, but there's barely any. Um, I'm fine with that kind of a system, but, most of this stuff. Oh, by the way, um, I hope people like it's a more simplified uh, overlay. I hope people kind of like it. It makes the um, schedule kind of pop a bit better, um, covers it up less. And again, it's like more minimalistic. So I hope people like that. But um, yeah, again, it's a short one this week, but I uh, look forward to next week will probably be 8 p.m. because I will have something that ends around 7. But um, we could probably stream at 8 p.m. next week, Eastern Time again. Um, so, but otherwise, thanks guys for checking it out. Thanks for also for those of you that got to watch today when Seamus posted the video on demand. Um, and those that don't get to watch it live, but do get to watch the video on demand. Thank you for watching as well and listening. Because um, this is a lot of fun. I like having him there to to make commentary and bounce thoughts all, uh, off um, off of and also remind me that I need to punch the guy to make them fall down that's what I'm here for yeah so um yeah any closing thoughts for tonight's uh tonight's uh cop beat up mass cop beat up no I have no additional thoughts on this all right so um Yep, that's yeah. it. So again, thank you, 93, Made Up and For Me, CD Rex, uh, term Terminatus, term uh, Terminal Terminatus. Um, so many people that joined in tonight, but thank you guys very much for hopping in and listening and watching. And I hope you all have a good night. And and, and again, anyone that watched the VOD, um, I hope you all have a good day or night. And Seamus, again, thank you very much for joining, and I hope you have a good night too. See you next week.